this is the condition that it's been in when the guy calls me to tell me to come pick it up. So, and it was left outside of the shop. I went there, I looked at it, I started it up, and then I got hold of somebody. And they said, well, he might try and do a lean on your pickup. This noise you hear is something that he has done. This was a two-wheel drive pickup. I had four-wheel drive hooked up to it. You know, I had this guy install four-wheel drive. And this is the condition it's in. And this is the noise it's making. It drives horrible. And I'm keeping the speed down low. Driving through town, I'm taking it to my house. I had it put somewhere else, somebody else's property. The cops showed up to my house on Saturday. The guy called them to turn me in for stealing my pickup because I did not pay him. I'm sure you can hear that noise. Okay, you can see the botch. I, I don't know what he was thinking. Look at the welds. I don't know what he was thinking as far as why he cut this like this. This is my pickup. I finally got it back. These people have had it for six months plus. Okay. This is an automatic. It has an automatic transmission. And they're putting four-wheel drive in it. Here's the interior I don't know why they made such a big hole I don't and this is one of the issues but it's not really the killer okay now if if you're looking this is an automatic okay I was looking to put tranny fluid in it. It's making some weird noise, which we'll uh, put that in on the video also. I took that with a different camera. But there's no dipstick. <laughs> the tube's not even there. Okay, and there was one when I dropped this off. I did put a different transmission in. Okay. So... If you're looking up here, please notice this. They fabbed a piece of metal to cover that. I don't know if they, they might have welded that. I, I'm not sure what they did to the transfer case there. But please look here. And this transfer case is not made to go to that transmission. Okay, and I've talked to somebody, a different fabricate, you know, fabricator, and he said that he believes they got the right transmission because, it, you know, it does bolt up. They did not put the tube in and they did not put the dipstick in. They, uh, 
It looks like they might have welded that. Maybe I'm seeing that wrong. It might just have more of the this orange um, high temp type of uh, silicone. It's hard to tell from, you know, I think that's high temp silicone though. It could be welded, I'm not sure. And this transfer case is not meant to go to this transmission. Cannot shift it into four wheel drive. It will drive in two wheel drive. Okay. So, just wanted to show you guys this. As far as I can tell, they did hook the training lines up. We are taking it to another shop. He's going to do an estimate on Wednesday to finish fixing everything. Definitely not taking it back to that one. So, I did take it in to get it aligned. These were the back tires. If you look at this, and this is taking it approximately five miles okay. and they rotated the tires to the back you can see the wear on these tires these were brand new tires these were on the back you can tell they these ones look good and they don't have that wear on them but yeah I don't have the tranny lines hooked up they didn't uh, do the air conditioning. They didn't charge it or nothing. So we'll uh, hope you see it on that here shortly. So we'll have to get that done. Anyways, I did take it into Les Schwab. So, this was their report on the alignment. They could not get a reading when I took it in there. This is what they, the green is what they ended up getting. Up above is what they, uh, you know, there was nothing. They couldn't get no reading up above. And then the tie rod ends have me missing grease certs. Okay. Left and right upper, upper control arms were loose. Tie rod nuts were loose. So far out of alignment, could not get reading Les Schwab Tech JJ. Okay. So. We're going to have to get the transfer case replaced. These people are trying to hit me up for money. You cannot put it in four wheel drive. And that was the whole reason. Uh, this, this truck is 17 years old. I have 129,000 miles on this truck. Okay. That's why I took it in there. I mean, you know. I'm not going to use it as a daily driver. Okay, 129,506. Okay. Ran fine. It's an 05 Tundra. And uh, told me it would be a three week job. He's had this pickup for over six months. They, they got booted out of the building they were in. Okay, He's had it up on the lift the whole time. And on Friday, he got booted out of the building, got hold of me on Saturday, saying, oh, the pickup's ready. You know, we'll meet and you can come pick it up. Well, I went there on Saturday, and uh, he wasn't there, the pickup was. I started up, I looked at it, and I was pissed. I left. I left the pickup there. 
and I talked to somebody else who works on pickups and he said well that guy's probably going to try and do a mechanic clean if you just leave it there. so he said you're you know you need to get the pickup so I went back I got the pickup and then this guy went and and I took it somewhere else I did not bring it to my house and then this guy went and called the cops on me for stealing my pickup because I didn't pay him well he didn't also he didn't put the he didn't put those back underneath as a pickup where they were supposed to be okay but no I mean you you know he never finished the work and the stuff he did do he didn't he didn't do it right either um, I'm not paying him more money I already paid him more than the original quote and I have to take it somewhere else I'm gonna get an estimate down on Wednesday um, Les Schwab only charged me $110 to do the alignment but yeah I'm uh, I'm a little bit upset over this please like comment and subscribe thank you